Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Pismata. We are in the queue, and... Matched? No. Let's watch Meowth vs. Hunter 2. Meowth's got his patent Electrovores. Uh... I don't know who's winning. Seems like these wars are gonna hurt a bit, but... Or these Scorches, rather, but... I mean, it's only 14 damage once, and, like, now it's doing 8 every turn. On the other hand, like, Grid? Hmm. So I guess it's a question of, like, can Meowth win before the next Scorch Wave? Because after that, well, I don't know, like, you can start losing Vores on defense and degrade a little bit gracefully, I guess. Cute little exploit here. By holding the Rhino. I don't know. Looking at it, it looks to me like now it's winning, but I didn't look too close. Ninja Assassin XYZ. Base plus five, 90 whole seconds. Okay. What is the dealio here? Um, kind of looks like a long game with Doomed Mech and Sentinel as like a bunch of soak and some decent absorb in Doomed Mech. Uh, Galvani has, like, a mild synergy with Sentinel as well. And this is... I mean, Pixie... You know, the thing about Dune Mech is you don't usually want to float blue anyway, because you want to, like, have two and buy a Dune Mech. But, you know, if you ever had, like, maybe you got to three blue for some reason, although I don't know that you would want to, this would be a cheap way to sink it when you're done buying splitters or something. The main question is, like, does Redeemer somehow punish this? And I don't think it does. I think Doomed Mech is too good uh, at defending for Doomed Mech to be... Uh, for, for Redeemer to to rush it down. So I think that it gets into a pretty long double blue game, and then you buy Sentinels to, like, just have more soak. Um, I'm player one, so going third NG here... I guess Pixie is also a nice way to like spend your first blue, maybe, if you don't want a splitter necessarily, although I think a splitter would be fine. Maybe maybe um, you do get, like because droning is so good, maybe you would rather not, maybe you'd rather get extra en en engineers uh, and you don't want to spend the splitter, so you buy a Pixie instead. And like with Galvani, you're less likely to be sad about the extra engineers anyway. I expect opponent to get four NGs here. Getting getting green, like the, the downside of that is that they don't get green on turn three, but you don't really want green anytime soon. Uh, unless you're going Redeemer, which I don't think you should. A Redeemer is a kind of cute first attacker, I guess, but... Because you can, like, get your own Doom Mech to block your own charges. Yeah, but, like, your first Redeemer isn't doing much, so, like, you, there's not much upside as well as not being much downside. Interesting. No fourth engineer. I wonder what uh, the plan is. is. Is conduit that important, or what? Did you just not think of it? Who knows? I'm obviously playing this turn, but like, what is what's next? Triple D B. I think is pretty clear. After that, it gets a little more exciting. Yeah, opponent wants the conduit. Interesting. I guess we shall see. I mean, I could maybe not do this. This would be my chance to get more NGs, right? Opponent's not going to build a Gauss Cannon next turn, and if they do, I'm okay with that. I kind of want to just do this, and then buy four drones. And a Blast Forge. Yeah. I guess he can try to redeem me if I do that, but I, I, I welcome that, I guess. I think a fifth NG would be uncalled for here. Cooled Cannon might disagree. 
Um, but when opponent is threatening redeemers, I don't really want to buy five drones. I want to get like a wall, another forge. I don't know, maybe I'll just lose to the redeemers if I let I let the opponent get two of them. Without like really being able to contest. But they don't want to, right? Because they want to doom back next after that. If they're getting the second forge anyway. Yeah, and Redeemer means they have to cut drones so early at just 17, which I don't think can be right in this set. It could be right if your opponent is going way too greedy and you just want to kill them. You know, that's what I'm sort of doing, if, if you could argue. But opponent doesn't do that. Interesting. Okay. All right. Game's going to get exciting. Uh, can I afford this? What if instead I did this? That makes the Redeemer a lot better, actually. Because I, I, I was trying to squeeze in a conduit so that I can force field against the six attack they're going to have. Seems pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, but if I let the Redeemer... Because what, what are they going to do next turn? They're going to... well. They're gonna have like five attack, right? But they're really gonna hold the doomed mech. Yeah, they're building a doomed mech. So they're just gonna have three attack. And this lets them kill both Galvanis, and they so I basically just like didn't do anything with this. No. So they're killing one MG, and then the turn after. They're probably just killing one MG again, and if they want, they can kill two Galvanis, which is about break even. I don't mind if they do that, I think. Like, my force field almost surely gets no value. In fact, if they only have five attack, I don't need the force field. This this conduit was protection against them getting, like, a second redeemer and a splitter or something. If they're not doing that, then, like, I don't need a force field. Right? I have enough here. I just need to rebuy NGs. Get an Animus. One more drone, one more NG. Opponent will kill two of my Galvanis, so I'll actually have 23 bucks next turn. That's like... Doomed Mech, Double Tarsier... NGs or something. And then after that I can start in on the Sentinels. Yeah, their, their uh, Redeemer is actually getting pretty good value because their Doom Mech is being held for these Gauss charges, which I knew would happen. But... Well, actually, I can kill... No, they still get full absorb, don't they? Even if I kill both Galvanis? That kind of stinks. So the question is, can I swing with this doomed mech and at least make the charges do something? I can. Um, and this turns off a Galvani as well as, like, killing... You know, making their defense a bit more awkward. So I think this is well worth it. And they have, like, three, four... Six damage that they can't help but do next turn. Seven. Well, several turns from now, the question is, can they deny me Absorb if I buy, like, Galvanis? I don't think so.
Next turn I can attack for just two and actually kill the Galvanis, which is cute. Interesting. This is, this is neat, I, I guess, isn't it? You don't hold your attackers because you figure out it won't attack? Yeah, I think you should actually do that. So, I'm actually only up like four drones in exchange for like a ton of attack that my opponent has. I think I went too slow here. Ah, they're gonna actually defend. Interesting. I don't like that play. That is to say, I think it is an incorrect play. Not, I'm sad that they're doing it. Uh, I don't think I can afford this many cycles. Let's just get a Rhino. Second force field to guard my gal my my engineers because right now like I'm just keeping alive the Rhino, but that's if they attack with everything, which they shouldn't. So I don't think it's worth a force field to protect, like to guarantee that I can harvest a Galvani next turn. Like, I might as well just save the drone, right? Ooh. So... If I can be said to have an advantage, I mean, obviously drone counts, I'm up quite a few. Um, but I think a bigger advantage is my doomed mech train is going to last longer, apparently. Like, opponent sort of gave up on theirs and is just going for the sentinel train. Um, I mean, I guess I have a little trouble <laughs> keeping my doomed mech train going as well, but at least I got three of them. Um, these rhinos could maybe be Tarsiers, but opponents like actually holding drones. Well, they probably won't be holding drones soon, right? Oh, this rhino was actually gambiting? That's interesting. I guess that works. They're not gonna click everything just to kill my rhino, and if they do, that's fine. Okay, I mean, that's rhino's job. Something I want to make sure I keep an eye out for is opportunities to get another Galvani uh, when it can't be denied, like if I get enough drones. Opponents stocking up a bit more on Tarsiers, the long vein plan. I'm not sure that that's wrong. Um, they have enough Sentinel tempo that they can maybe do this. Next turn, opponent threatens to absorb, like, 9. Call it 12, if I because I can kill these if I want. And so it's about time for me to, like, get Tarsiers, probably, right? Because I, I can respond by attacking very little. Yeah, I don't want another Sentinel right now. I have enough defensive tempo, and I don't want another attacker right at, right at the moment. I 
Actually, I'm going to be in a similar kind of exploitable position the turn after this, so maybe I don't want more Galvanis and I just want an actual drone. I think opponents shouldn't actually hold both Doom mechs. It's too easy for me to punish that, but they might do it. Yeah, like you have so much defensive tempo, you don't actually have to do this. I don't know. You kind of want an absorber, but do you though? So they can try to punish me in a similar way, by attacking for what? Four, seven, nine. They have to attack for at least nine, and I'm okay with that. They can exploit a little by clicking these Galvanis, but there's not all that much I can do about it, really. Uh, let's just double check, is this... Yeah, this is already defended, even if they... If they actually swing. But I get to save my Sentinel and Rhino charges this way, which is nice. How many NGs am I keeping alive if I do that? Like, six? I can afford another Galvani. Although, like, shouldn't this just be a drone? Oh yeah, they don't have to attack. I, I for some reason thought they should be attacking with the doomed mech. Maybe they should. Uh, yeah, okay. This is a little bit more exploited than I would have liked to be. I, I could have maybe. Well, what was I gonna do? Click the Dune mech, it doesn't do any damage. I don't know. Opponent has more permanent damage. I'm pretty sad about this. Not necessarily about, like, my position in the game, but about the fact that the opponent has a lot more permanent attack anyway. Um... Yeah, I think we swing here. Well... It's just, I just can't wait this long for more soak, I don't think. Opponent can attack for 6, 9, 11. I have to attack for at least 11, and I'm, I'm getting full of... Yeah. Okay. Ah, it should probably be a Rhino. Soak is good. We're gonna need it soonish. I know swinging for all that just to kill one engineer kind of sucks. I actually should have killed two Galvanis, maybe? Nah, I don't know. But it was more about getting out my own NGs. And getting my Sentinels, like, some value now instead of more value later. Yeah, I think I didn't build enough Tarsiers. And I think it's because I started on attackers too late. I'm not, like, saying I've lost or anything, but that's, that's definitely a problem with my, my approach. But I do have an awful lot of drones.
I guess, yeah, now that you're out of Tarsiers, you should just buy all the Sentinels, maybe. Uh, although, I don't know, it means you're getting these Pixies? Like, the Doom Deck training is super important, isn't it? I apparently cannot continue by Doom Deck Train, that's a bummer. I get to keep five Galvanis, and they can't deny me by clicking these, so okay. This means I'm going to be quite exploitable when my Doom Mech Train runs out. Also, I was wrong when I said I had a better Doom Mech Train than opponent. Uh, okay, well, you know, kind of stinks. No, that's not actually good value, I don't think. Makes it easier for me to get more Sentinels and Doomed Max. Good. Squeeze in that one extra Doomed Max there. This could be a drone, but I think that's a bit greedy. Well. We are coming up on a turn when it's good to be greedy. Oh yeah, killing the Galvanis was especially bad, because they had, like, my Doomed Mech Hold turn coming up soon. Which is when it would have been a much better opportunity to try for. How's their Sentinel supply? They have three left. Six, seven, eight, fourteen. Okay, I can't actually deny any absorb very well, can I? So maybe they were right to kill the Galvanis when they did. I don't know. I'm really bad at killing Galvanis. I just never do it, and like it's not the worst thing in the world. Right, like even if I do this. Yeah. Well, okay, these are these are their last Galvanis. I don't know. Yeah, they have enough defensive tempo already to start building Doomed Mechs again, so I don't think it's that big a deal to give them a bit more. has more left than I do. But I'm only attacking for 15, and they attacked for like 19. On the other hand, it's like a dude mech turn here. Can I get a like Tarsier instead? I seem to have a lot of tempo pretty soon, but actually this Rhino will be arriving on a turn when I rather like, would, would prefer to have some more tempo, I think. <sighs> How are the drone counts these days? 18 to 22. I'm still up, but not by as much as I might like. I did tell you this was going to be a long game. Okay. Opponents out of Sentinels. Mine are still clicking along.
Here's the tough turn. Had the double wall, kind of a bummer. How's my rhino supply? I have two left. get a snack, I guess. I mean, opponent's turns are pretty clear. You buy Dune Max, you buy Rhinos. It seems to be going pretty well for them. I think I'm getting my Tarsiers way too late. I got my Rhinos too early, but what can I do? At least I'm still getting splitters. They're pretty cool. I think a Redeemer would be just too aggressive. that I couldn't get that last thing back. And this turn's not gonna be easy. <laughs> oh no! Don't do that to me! There we go. Defended. <laughs> this is not a sign of distress at all. I don't understand why they've never clicked these pixies, by the way. I guess it doesn't matter, but I would have clicked it. Yeah, now suddenly I'm way behind in drones instead of ahead. And I'm also way behind in attack. And I'm down on supply. And they have Rhino Tempo. Yeah, this is this is over, right? So, obviously there were some problems. Um, opponent's first redeemer got better value than I predicted that it would. I figured like that its damage would be mostly wasted against doomed mechs, but actually like right after the, rede the redeemer, you get doomed mechs and they can just like attack. Um, and. Like, even the turn when Redeemer was built, it was attacking into a wall, not a doomed mech. So it still did, like, a little damage. And I think even the turn after that, because I built Redeemer in response to wall, and then I built a doomed mech. So, like, for two turns, yeah, it, it was getting pretty good value. Okay. And the... The fact that I was so far down in attack meant that I really, I don't know, well. I was going to blame it on the fact that I'm so far down in attack. That's why I started building Sentinels and Rhinos so soon. But I think that it was because I made like, I mean, I could have just built a, a Tarsier instead of this Rhino, the, like the Sentinel, first couple Sentinels, right? Could have built Tarsiers. Um, this Rhino here was useful for Gambit, and I think he's, like, good to keep, but maybe not. Maybe I should have just force-fielded more and built Tarsiers. I don't know. But I think the other reason was that, like, 
I've made a mental overcorrection. Like when you're a beginner, you just sort of like build Tarsiers when you have red. And then when you need prompt defense, you build rhinos. And like that kind of sucks, right? Y your rhinos don't get any attacks in. And so you want to build rhinos sooner than that. Great. Uh, you build rhinos when two turns from now you will need some soak. Basically. But rhinos are also useful for pressure. Like you could get them a bit earlier if it pressures your opponent. And I, I think I've overcorrected to like almost not wanting to buy Tarsiers unless it's denying absorb. And like saying, you know, the rhino's doing damage right away. How bad can it be to get a rhino? Uh, instead of a Tarsier. But I think that that was... Actually, I mean, this rhino was also sort of gambiting. Protect... Kind of like allowing me to gambit my engineers instead of gambiting my doomed mech. An opponent didn't take the gambit, so the rhino like kind of was okay. Uh, but I think that I was just in a bad position here. And the rhino like looks okay from a bad position, but I'm just so far down in attack that nothing's very good. So I think opponent had the right idea to not go fourth ng. Um, but it's also kind of hard for me to respond. Like, let's say I don't get the the, the fourth engineer, and then like. I get a conduit this turn. Okay, great, but opponent gets the forge, I get a forge, and then they redeemer, and I'm like, I can't really get a redeemer into the enemy redeemer. So I need to have done something else. Like, I need to go forge and then conduit plus wall, or conduit plus splitter. And, and that way I have, like, an absorber and can respond to their redeemer with my own. It's a little bit better. It makes it much harder for them to get a doomed mech here, actually. So let's let's show you what I'm like. Let's make it a little more explicit what I was what I'm imagining. Uh, in case you know it's hard to visualize what I'm saying. All right. So opponent does this, and I have to do this. Ugh. Let's do this so I can get a Galvani. But then the Redeemer just gets. Well, no, he doesn't. It's fine. Opponent gets the Redeemer, okay, and they get a Blast Forge and Galvanics. But now, I can do this. Counter with my own Redeemer because I have a wall up. And now, like, can opponent really get a Doomed Mech? I get to attack for three into no Absorb? It's kind of awkward, isn't it? Like, maybe they just give me the Engineers. It's not the end of the world, perhaps, to just do this. But it sure feels like it feels pretty bad. It feels pretty bad. Um, and, and it probably is bad. But I'm just pointing out, like, this is a line you could take to still get the new mech if that's what you want. And you can't really, like, get an Animus this way, which is pretty cool. Like, you can't get a second Doomed back. Yeah, I feel like this just was a much better approach. I, yeah, so I, I underestimated Redeemer because it seemed like a pretty high econ set and there's good Absorb, and I said, oh, you know, the early Redeemer will get Absorbed. But, okay, to do that, you have to actually build Absorbers in time, and I didn't really do that. And... Likewise, opponent got better value on the absorbing the Gauss charges than I thought they would be able to. So I, I guess I just built too many drones, or I built them too quickly anyway. Maybe you could still add some more drones in the line I was showing off. And then I like didn't do so great here either. But it was it was sort of too late. I, I lost a long time ago, just because I'm so far down in attack. All right, well, interesting game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.